It's easy to become focused solely on the demonic structure in Hell in a Cell, but there are other considerations to think about, too. You're right, Michael. If it's not nailed down, it can be used as a weapon here. The stairs, every corner of the cell, anything. So whoever can utilize weapons more effectively is going to have a big advantage. And not to mention all the times we've seen superstars launch themselves from the top of the cell 20 feet in the air. And we know from history only bad, bad things happen on top of Hell in a Cell. What's he open a fight down there? It's like I always say, he who has the sledgehammer has the last laugh. Set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, stopping impact. Out of the way in time. Beautiful athleticism. Oh, it can run. What kind of mindset does it take to be able to succeed inside Hell in a Cell? You need killer instinct. There's no time to catch your breath or worry about external factors. It's all about attacking the runner and winning at any cost. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taken a toll. Producing a trampling. Oh, kick finds it. Reigns establishing the upper hand. Fandango on the wrong side of every exchange. And Fandango evades that. Slam. Oh, what a kick. He may be in a bad way here. This is what Hell in a Cell is all about. You have to be able to endure this kind of punishment if you want the victory. And Fandango capitalizes there. Describe that victory. However you want to describe it, it certainly worked.